Well, welcome back to Off Planet Radio. I'm Randy Moggins. In the world that we live in, the only constant is change. And yet some things, remarkably, do stay the same, like certain elements that we have uh, grown accustomed to maintaining our physical space around us, like uh, carbon, maybe. And that was what we're gonna, that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm very thrilled to have with me today uh, Chris Burris from uh, C60 Evo, and the ever radiant Patty Greer is with us as well. Patty, poke your head up there, say hi. Thank you. Um, uh, President elect Patty Greer, remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be vice president. I'm okay with that. There, there you go. We'll reverse the roles. That's actually a good thing. Yep. We'll be more egalitarian than the uh, presumed, maybe a president elect. And so here we are in the month of November, heading down the tunnel at the end of 2020. <laughs> we really needed the C60 this year to sharpen that vision, baby. I'll tell you, I don't know how we got through it all. So we've got a lot of things to talk about today, including doing some an analysis of, um, we'll say, commentary on commentary. And um, we have a launch of a new product in the C60 line, which is very exciting. We're gonna talk about that because uh, Patty pioneered this, uh, splashing all that C60 on her face. And uh, what else we have? Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some, uh, some of my daily regimen as well. Maybe, maybe I should go first since I'm the host, huh? So C60, let's see, I've been doing C60 uh, in some fashion or another for many years but as far as this the ess 60 i've been doing this now for 16 months straight on and um it's become part of my morning routine and I i'm terrible at routines i'm terrible at vitamins um i've had to take medications i fail at that i'm just not good at doing things on a routine, but I've worked C60 into my regimen every day, the C60 Evo. This, of course, is the extra virgin olive oil, which is the highest concentration of C60 on the market and within the ESS60 line. And so that's the morning starter right there. Uh, hydrate, I get up eight ounces of water a little bit of coffee, we sip that, we take the ESS-60, and then I'm using this, which is called Shilajit, which is a highly concentrated form of fulvic acid and 80 minerals. I've been using this now for about six months, and fulvic acid will help you do the completement that begins with the C60. This is just my personal, we're not selling this. This is my personal little uh, swirl on top of what I'm doing to both remediate and improve my own health. One of the things about the combination is the effects from C60 obviously are better sleep, vitality, better focus, concentration, starting to see improvements in eyesight and the fulvic acid contained in the shilajit, which is a resin, um, really, really just kind of moves us along. The C60 actually opens up and helps express the shilajit into my system. At least that's the science that I, the way I understand it. The two are kind of complementary. So that is my personal testimony to how I am approaching uh, my own wellness and wholeness program. And um, well, I can I can share mine um, and it's very similar. And I think it's, you know, anytime you're 
hoping to get some good benefits out of a supplement, uh, uh, you know, such as C60 Evo, uh, it's important to actually get it into your routine, right? Yes. I know yeah. in the early days, I would find myself yawning halfway through the day and remember that I forgot to take my C60 Evo and now it's part of my routine. So that just doesn't happen. Or if it does happen, it's because it's been, it's, it's been a pretty hectic day and I actually yeah. need to take another serving uh, to help me kind of muscle through the rest of the day. Um, my routine is uh, we actually have uh, uh, a, an MCT version of the product. So that's uh, MCT with ESS 60 in it. And that actually goes really good. I, some are familiar with Bulletproof Coffee and Bulletproof Coffee is uh, a really nice uh, uh, recipe of uh, some ghee and some MCT. Well, why not use MCT with this amazing ESS 60 molecule in it instead of just MCT? Uh, and that's what I do for my coffee. While I'm actually making my coffee, I go ahead and take a teaspoon and a half of, of our olive oil product. Uh, so I'm taking a little bit more than what maybe the average person does. I don't think I'm taking more than what Patty takes, but maybe the average person. <laughs> um, and I'm also putting about a teaspoon and a half into my cough of the MCT into my coffee. Okay. And then for lunch, when I have a, a salad, I'll actually throw our avocado product on, onto our salad. So nice. uh, that's, that's my routine. Nice. Yeah. I'm actually using MCT as well inside of a, 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 a creamer product that I buy. Yeah. So organic creamer that has the MCT as the base to it. Yeah. So I've, I've forgotten about that. These are the little things we build on, you know, right. 60 is the driver for all of these things that we're doing as part of a wholeness completement program. Yeah. Patty, what do you got for us? Well, my coffee is like how I start my day and I do um, organic everything, but mine includes organic whipping cream, which believe it or not yes. is um, anti-inflammatory. If you do organic mm -hmm. whipping cream, not milk, not half and half, but so I'm like, great, no problem there. And butter grass fed. So if you want anti-inflammatory, if you're basically over 30 and live on the planet earth, um, you probably have some kind of joints and issues. Um, I recently really accumulated um, 60 plus years of riding a Harley 50,000 miles, big boy. I mean, wow. I don't know what happened, this little girl, you know. I So I did gymnastics competitively, but everything caught up recently to where I could barely move a month ago. So I discovered a miracle, which is what I wanted to bring to the table today in combination with the C60 Evo, which really built up my immune system. Um, it's actually such a force inside me that if any, um, I've had a couple of um, basal cell things happen where the stitches are supposed to melt inside and C60 Evo is like, nope, you will not be melting here. And I literally had spitting sutures, which uh, the doctor said, yeah, we've seen that, but not very often. So all this stuff inside was not welcome. And my body literally balled it up and spit it out like a little rock, scared the crap out of me. But my body is so um, right now because I've been taking a tablespoon a day mm. for three years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I did far lesser products in the beginning because I didn't know, number one, to buy direct from the lab, but I was also doing MCT coconut oil, organic, you know, decent mm -hmm. stuff. But what we didn't know back then because nobody was testing uh, the concentrations was that MCT coconut oil holds the least amount of C60 and olive oil holds uh, almost twice as much, if not actually more than twice as much. So um, I got immediately onto the olive oil when I joined Chris and Rob at um, the SES labs and we created C60 Evo, which just, it, you know, we sell all three because people like different flavors. Chris has three different uses. Uh, for me, it's a monster tablespoon. First thing, you know, with food before noon so that I get some sleep. But um, I haven't even had the lab send me the other oils because the olive oil is so good. And anytime I had to uh, take it on my spoon, then I take the spoon and wipe it off and rub it on my face. So if you drip, if it spills down the bottle a teeny bit, put it on your skin. 
Yeah, don't waste any. Waste not, what not. Yeah, definitely. Well, and that was that was the reason that she actually came out with our most recent product is because she was putting that kind of residual amount on her skin and noticed a difference. Yeah. Randy, you've known me for years. I mean, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't have brown spots anymore. No. no, no. Um, yeah. You can feel it when it goes into your skin. I do the same thing. I'll take it and just kind of rub it in. I mean, I'm a guy. I'm not wor too worried about brown spots and stuff. You get to a certain age, just vanity goes out the window. And Well, uh, I'm surprised. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, any way that we can get this into our system. I mean, the skin is the largest organ in the body. So obviously, uh, skin, anything that has to do with skin is really kind of important. And that's what makes what you're bringing to the table today really, really interesting. It's, it's the lar largest organ. Like a, a lot of people don't recognize it as being the largest organ in the body uh, it is. Is, is your skin. Yeah. Uh, and, and so it's paramount and you want to take very good care of that skin. And, and this formulation that Patty's put together um, is, is just phenomenal. Well, it's 21, mostly organic and a few that didn't come uh, natural ingredients. But the main one, of course, is the ESS 60. And because of its skin, we chose to use the avocado oil in the MCT coconut, not to be confused with MCT um, palm oil, which a lot of them are, they don't mention it. So I always count on the lab, they do the ordering of all the oils, but I know we're getting really pure organic oils, which makes a big difference in your mixtures. So I began with uh, an amazing herbalist, Brigitte Mars, and I, hadn't seen her in a while and we got together and we're both same age and I took a look at her and her skin was like baby but soft I'd never seen her look so nice. good and of all things I was like well I'm coming to you for a facial serum what are you doing I mean I've known her 40 something years and she is you know 14 or 20 books into the wind. She's quite well known. So we started working on the formulation for the skin serum. But the thing that she started with was I've been using chia seed oil. Chia seed oil. I don't think that's in any skin products that I know of. I've never seen it promoted. So that was my first scribble. It's like, ooh. And by the time we were done, we came up with the scent of rosemary, a natural rosemary essence. And at first, Chris was like, ooh, but then you kind of get to love it because it's, uh, it's very re rewarding as you put it on at night and go into sleep. But actually on an etheric level, there's something in the rosemary that helps you dream deeper and to be more relaxed. Oh, it, I mean, so it smells good and it's full of amazing things, things that most facial products don't have including the ESS 60. So um, Chris surprised me with this very cool bottle, which I'd never seen. You push this little button on the top. There's no lid to fall off. And then you unscrew it. And after you've pushed the button down, the um, oil is right there in this lovely little dropper. So you don't waste. And oh, it that goes is really smooth. Really, that is really cool. I Isn't like that. that. Nice? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, how many times do we get products that we have in normal bottles that we wind up dripping and all over the place? And that is an awesome looking dispenser. And, and it can product, be really challenging with oils, right? Yeah, so oils, oils and, and let's be realistic. Some of our other products in the bigger bottles, yeah. they are going to have a little bit of leakage uh, or drippage, not really leakage, but drippage after you use it. Uh, and we just didn't want to have that in, in a face serum. And so that's why we opted for that packaging. Yeah, well, oil being viscous does that. It's, uh, it's very nature that it is going to be a little bit slippery. Yeah. So um, that product is available now, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need to it's push. on our website. It's on your gifting page. Okay. Um, on your new landing page. But what we did recently was we tested it on people's face, and then we sent them also an eight ounce bottle of the olive extra virgin olive oil. So they were doing inside and out, mm -hmm. and the results were like multiplied because they had the uh, C60 Evo inside and out. 
and um, really megafied the results. So we're doing special deals for, we call it the inside and out set, four ounce and eight ounce, depending on how much C60, ESS60 people want to take. Um, I do probably an eight ounce bottle a month. What do you do, Randy? Eight ounce? Yeah, what is this? That's eight ounce. That's eight ounce. Yeah, that's about right. Yep. Chris, yeah, I'm doing at least a tablespoon first, first thing in the morning. Because I figure I'm on the high end of needing to get that into my system. And it seems to work. I haven't, it doesn't disagree with me. Um, and I bowled it down after that with, you know, coffee and maybe a muffin or English muffin or something like that. But um, yeah, tablespoon in the morning will get you good. Get you good. Get you good. And then also get the face serum so you can start yeah. applying that there and, and taking care of yourself uh, yeah. uh, as a, normally as a nighttime preparation. I mean, I pretty, like day and night. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've been blessed with pretty good skin. I mean, for my age, I've got minor wrinkles and things, but um, everybody can use some improvements and uh, taking care of our faces is kind of important. Right. Um, and our skin in general. So, um where we're going to go next and again we'll put links up with all of this they'll be on the screen they'll be down in the little caption box there on your youtube video where you can go to the landing page and get the product information and um, there'll be as well a discount code with attached to that with my uh, personal endorsement and you can go and avail yourself of these products and get a little discount bump in the process. So where do we want to go next? Uh, Chris, anything I'm else? About videos that people are doing about C60 uh, products and nobody other than us is doing ESS60. That's videos. okay. Let's talk about this for a minute because it's really important. Again, we make the differentiation. We sometimes go generic and I'm guilty of it, of saying C60. This is ESS60. Yes. And this comes from the work and the research of the foundation of ESS. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. Let's talk about background and history again, because sometimes people forget, new people come by, they don't get the story. Yeah, well, so the, the long and short um, really is that in 1985, they discovered the third form of carbon. Uh, for those of you who are watching, I'm holding up a, a buckyball. Uh, for those who might just be listening, if you imagine a soccer ball, the lines on the soccer ball represent the bonds between the carbon atoms. You have the spherical molecule of 60 carbon atoms. Uh, like I said, discovered in 1985 and 1996, uh, those three scientists who discovered it actually won the Nobel Prize for that discovery. The molecule's pretty amazing. It's superconducting. It's harder than a diamond. It's good in inks and tires and batteries and photocells. So they thought that, that we would be using it on a regular basis. Um, we haven't started doing that yet because it's so expensive. But, but because they thought we would be using it on a regular basis, they needed to do a toxicity study. If men are going to be working, men and women are going to be working with this molecule, then you really have to understand, is it toxic? And for various reasons, they actually thought it would be toxic. So they did a toxicity study and they published the results in 2012. Uh, in that test, they gave rats water, rats olive oil, and then rats olive oil with ESS-60. Uh, instead of being toxic, those rats given the C60 EVO formula lived 90% longer than the control group. And unlike the control group, those rats given uh, the, e the C60 EVO formula actually died without tumors, right? So this is a pretty phenomenal result. It's actually the single longest longevity result on mammals known to man uh, and its peer reviewed published research. So uh, things started getting exciting. You fast forward, now we've got the C60 EVO. We're really trying to bring uh, the benefits, right? So the initial benefit for, uh, I, I affectionately call them wackos because I am one, uh, like, hey, here's a phenomenal result in this study. Uh, let me try this. Let me see what impact it has on me. Um, and the testimonials that we were getting were just phenomenal. And so we create C60 Evo, and now kind of goal is to get this out there uh, really into the, into the public. 
um, you started looking even, even really early on, like in, in the early 2018, people started popping up on the market and they're like, oh, we're selling C62 and this person's selling C62 and all these people are selling C60. And we're like, okay, great. Like we just want this industry to succeed. I've been working in this industry since 1991. Great, this is the first real application that's actually gonna take off. And then we started looking at the concentrations of other product. In fact, there was one particular product that uh, that whatever, I can't even tell you why it got on my radar. Got on my radar, I ordered it, I did a quick little test with it and it had no C60 in it. And then we started looking at other products and they had a lot less C60. And then you look on Amazon and there's there's tablets that they say and they're saying, hey, take two of these uh, a day and you're you're good. And I do a quick you know napkin calculation and you need to be taken 20 uh, in order to get a proper serving size. So mm. uh, like all of this yeah. like just bad, bad science was happening. And so we're like, well, what can we do to help keep the consumer safe? Because because the reality is that C60 is for industrial purposes and there's peer reviewed published research that shows it's harmful. Um, ESS60 is C60 that's been processed for safer human consumption. So we really brought this onto the market to keep the consumer safe. Uh, and then that's what, you know, the evolution C60 Evo, the evolution of C60 is what we're kind of bringing to your audience and, and really as many audience, uh, as many people as we can, because uh, the testimonials are just, just like your testimonial, Randall, Randy, they're, they're, the testimonials are just amazing. Yeah, and the longer we go with this, the more we're going to see of it. Who should be using C60? Well, any everybody should be. But I will say that if you're in competitive athletics, if you're a person who is working in a high-stress industry on a regular basis, um, if you are a mom with a busy household and, and, and taking care of um, family, you need it. If you are anybody who is basically enduring the stressors of the world right now and <laughs> that's pretty much everyone yeah um, you know this product here again i'll go back to one foundation for me and that was sleep because i have suffered from insomnia and sleep disorders my whole life mm. and I, a recent anecdote anecdote here is that i had a night about two weeks ago where I was just restless, I was fidgety, nothing was going to work. I probably got two and a half hours sleep that night. But the next morning I got up, I did the normal routine with the ESS 60. And oddly enough, I got through that day and hardly even noticed that I hadn't slept the night before. Now, obviously, I was tired by the end of that day. But one of the rare times lately that I've had a bout of insomnia, and I attribute at least to a great deal, actually, the use of this product of getting me through a day when I should have, frankly, been falling over on my face. So, yeah, we we hear that uh, just time and time again. Um, and and I've actually got uh, one video testimonial from a lady. She was actually in tears at two points in her testimonial. One of them was, uh, you know, just like you, Randy, with some severe insomnia challenges for for years, and her first kind of like she welled up when she was talking about how now that she's getting sleep, her significant other now is like getting to appreciate the woman that that he married. Right. And yeah. so that was a first. And then towards the end, just to, you know, thanking us as providing this product that has really changed her life. And, and we get those testimonials time and time again, our most consistent testimonial. People take it in the morning. They report mental focus and energy during the day and then better sleep that night. So what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to take a look at a video here, and I'll, I'll set this up. This is from uh, a fairly popular alternative media media figure, Crow Seven, Crow Triple Seven. Uh, in all fairness, Crow has been on Off Planet Radio before. He was on a few years ago with Emily Moyer and I, and um, I've been very fond of his work over the years. And so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to listen to what was presented. This is actually a composite of two shows, non-consecutive shows, because I subscribe to his channel. I happened to hear this and it was the second time that this um, 
this topic bounced around with the same guest that I went, wait a minute, I can't just let this stand. Now, I have not been able to contact Crow. He's a little hard to get a hold of. So, Crow, if you hear this, we're doing this with respect for yeah. your platform and for you as a host, but there's some factual information that needs to be addressed. So we will just uh, go right into the video here. I want to cover while we're in hour one, C60. As C60 came along, I started to check it out and promote it. And in the back of my mind, there were things bothering me. As I tried to get in to research it, as everyone knows who's done this, you could find out it'll kill you tomorrow or it'll save your life and you'll live a million years. It, it, it's one of those things online where it's almost flip a coin, the information you're going to get back. But then you and I began to talk and we had the same concern. Is this manufactured C60 that's being created in a lab, is it possible it can turn you into a bit of an antenna? And I know you were thinking about it, and I was thinking about it. So you provide an actual natural C60 that has no chance of turning your body into an antenna. Can we talk about that for a minute? Well, absolutely. You know, in the last couple of years, I've been going around uh, places giving talks. And so I get a you know, moderately sized audience. And I often ask the audience, how many of you have taken C60? And quite a few people put their hands up. And I say, how many of you have got a got a positive result. And pretty much everybody got a positive result. Now, that's not normal, right? That's extraordinary. The C60 was getting a positive result. But that in itself is hugely interesting. It's amazing. You know, I've had people say, well, my pain stopped, my sleeping got better, whatever. However, there are some big ifs and buts about it. One is the hype is so good. You know, there are these rats who almost double their lifespan in the lab. So how much is auto-suggestion? If I tell you this product is the most brilliant product in the world and it's going to work, and you believe me at a deep level, then I would suggest that up to 80% of the effect or more of your thoughts is more powerful than the product you're taking. And I've done lots of research on placebos, which the most recent one I was doing research on was vitamin E. And in the 60s and 70s, the Shute brothers were reversing heart problems, stopping heart problems with vitamin E. And they did one test where, placebo test, where I think I've got this right, a third of the patients had a real heart bypass. A third of them got vitamin E, and a third of them had the cut, so they couldn't, nobody could tell who'd, who'd had the real operation or, or what, so they all had the same cut uh, by the surgeon. And the fact was that the vitamin E group did the best, but the people on nothing at all scored up to 85%. Right? The belief was so strong because everybody wanted to believe they'd had the real operation. And that belief was as powerful, well, more powerful, I think, than the real thing. So it's incredible. And we've really got to bear in mind that if we believe the world is, go is going to hell and it's all getting bad, we need to cancel that belief and start believing that this is the greatest opportunity ever and things are going to change. But nevertheless, things could change drastically for the better. Because good, if Good if, point. We'll come back on the C60. Part of what I want to get in there is the natural version, just in charcoal. I was actually sponsoring C60 for a while, and I wasn't feeling good about it. So I just want to get it out there that you have natural versions. All right. Real technical definition of charcoal to describe it. Now, a lot of people have heard about C60. We discussed it as being potentially nano C60 being a really seriously bad thing in the last episode. But, of course, the opposite is uh, that old-fashioned charcoal is C60. It's the natural form of C60. One doesn't go to nano. We've had it all the time. We've been breathing it in <laughs> since we were young. And what would happen is after the fire had cooled down, uh, they would have taken the ash outside and sprinkled it on the vegetable patch, making everything grow super well. We would have been recycling all those minerals over and over. Then in places where around the world they couldn't get salt, they were too far from the sea, what did they do? They, they used potash. So that's where you put a, a metal pot on the fire and or, or banana leaves or whatever it is. And then underneath that, the crust of the ash is white. That's potash. And they used to take that and put it in, in the next day's food, sprinkle it on. It used to happen all around the world. So we're hugely familiar with charcoal as C60. And um, we're constantly in contact with radiation, you know, there's radon, radioactive materials in the soil. So when, they, when we burn gasoline, lots of the pollutants in the world, people don't realize that 
that's radiation. It's radioactive, a lot of the waste that are around. Now, one of the great things about C60 charcoal is it sucks in radiation, sucks it into itself, and then you excrete it. That was a lot. Okay. <laughs> there was, um, yeah. I'm going to so, let you do the forensics on this. Yeah. So, um, and, and Crow is, that's the name of the guy, of the host, right? That's the name of the host. And then Clive DeCaro was the, the gentleman with the English accent. I believe he's an herbalist. Okay. Uh, um, there's, there's a, there's a lot to uncouple here and I, and I'm entirely with you, Randy. I want to do this very respectfully um, because, you know, I, I think that, uh, that people do the best that they can. Um, and I think that Clive is probably doing the best he can and Crow, um, with a little less knowledge than Clive, um, although we might be able to debate that, um, is, uh, is doing the best he can as well. So I just want, want to say that I'm, I'm not going to like jump in and like, oh, this is dumb. This is, I'm just going to say really kind of my impression. So, uh, the first thing was like, uh, when, Crow was talking about going out and doing research on C60 and basically doing a 50-50 coin toss of it's going to kill you or it's going to make you live a million years. Um, if you look at the research that's actually out there, it's pretty clear, right? And and I, and this is, I think, the challenge if you're not a scientist and you're jumping into these papers and you're just reading the abstracts and not really digging into the fundamentals of the paper, you might have this 50-50 impression. But the reality is, as you look at these papers, it's very clear. C60 for industrial applications, peer-reviewed published research shows that if you improperly process C60, it is harmful. ESS 60 is C60 that's been processed for safer human consumption. There really is no 50-50 on this. There is 100-100, like that, that is. There's a little debate that's the scientific community. Um, really, we, yeah, as scientists, we don't see things as black and white. We see them as 99%, 95%, 90%. Um, and so we can say 90%. Uh, yes, the 60 is good for you. Uh, there's people who maybe have challenges. Actually, we don't have any adverse effects uh, and it's our responsibility to report those effects. So I would say uh, we're looking at 95% chance. Yes, it's doing good. Uh, and there are you know, less than 1% um, as our population increases, we might see some uh, adverse effects here and there. Uh, we haven't seen them, we're not anticipating them, but I'm a scientist. I don't just say we're never going to have side effects and I don't say that it's always going to going to work, right? So I think I think that covers that. And if at any point you guys want to ask a question to clarify, like jump in, like just wave your hand and yeah, uh, we'll jump in. Their next concern was that C60 would actually turn you an ant into an antenna. Um, and I've had this conversation before. It actually was more related to like nanobots, like not just an antenna, but nanobots. Yeah, that's where I suspected so this was going. Right. And, and, and the reality is if you're if you're watching again, I'm holding up this molecule. It looks like a soccer ball with the lines on the soccer ball represent the bonds between the carbon atoms like the black dots on this are atoms. Right. These aren't like complex molecules that are thrown together in the shape of a sphere. This is 60 carbon atoms only. Right. We have a hard time manipulating individual atoms, like just in general. If we just want to take one atom and move it from here to there, you can find all sorts of um, studies where they've taken tunneling electron microscopes and used the tip of the tunneling electron microscope to actually lay out silicon uh, atoms in like the shape of IBM. Right. This happened at an IBM yeah, lab. Yeah, I remember and, that. Very famous. Yeah. Right. And they're very excited yeah, about very, the ability that this high-end equipment has to move one atom. We're talking about 60. They're not turning this into any sort of nanobot or antenna. Um, and then the next thing is like, so a natural version of this molecule that isn't an antenna. Now, there's some relevance here to natural and, un, and, and kind of man-made. When you start looking at peptides in the bodies, different proteins in the bodies, uh, in, in the human body, or even in any kind of animal model, um, you can identify the individual atoms that are in that protein or that are in that peptide. And when you go to manufacture that in a lab, you can make it with the exact same chemical profile, meaning the same atoms. The problem is, is and when you think about organic chemistry, there's right-handed organic chemistry, there's left-handed organic chemistry. Yeah. 
and that right versus left-handed can create demonstrably different results exactly. in the animal model, right? Yeah. And so that's where you're like, yeah, I really do want a natural peptide. I really do want a, uh, a natural protein that has been proven to exist in the body and actually do good. Or at least... I want to know that it's the same right-handed version versus left-handed version or whatever. The other thing when it comes to natural stuff is there's a lot of components. So if you're, if you're eating a vegetable uh, or you're consuming, let's say, say an apple, it's not just the, not apple, but an orange. It's not just that you get vitamin C in the orange. It's also the bioflavonoids that come as you eat that orange that can enhance the bioavailability of that particular thing, right? We're talking about carbon, uh, and whether the molecule was made in our reactor, and we can talk about that kind of after I go through this, or whether it was made in and uh, as a, as a charcoal, and we'll get into that here in a second. So, so natural or not natural, it's the same sixty carbon atom molecule. There is no different. There's no right twist to a sixty carbon atom molecule. There's no left twist. They are exactly the same thing. It's kind of like taking the same 10 Legos and like having them fall into a certain place and then manually putting them into that place, that exact same place. There's no difference. Um, I found it really fascinating. This is, a, this is the piece I, I love where, where Clive was like, hey, he gives talks and he asks, hey, how many people in this room have tried carbon 60? And, and almost everyone raised their hands. And he says that that's not normal. Uh, and I think his implication is that it's not normal from something that doesn't actually work. It's not normal from typical things that are tested. But I can tell you, um, you sit in a room of people who have ever used an antibacterial right? An antibiotic. Right. Um, like th everybody in the room would say, yes, I've had an antibiotic and yes, it's worked. So when it works, that's not an unusual result, right? Um, so I think you've got to be uh, careful with that. And he talked about stopping pain and sleeping better. Um, those are our testimonials that we do get. Uh, certainly again, the FDA has not evaluated our product. It's not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any, any disease. And then he goes on to talk about this case study um, where 80% of the people who thought they had a surgery um, actually did better than the people who had the surgery. Um, and actually the people who took vitamin E were better. Well, okay, that's a test result, but a typical, uh, and he's talking about placebo, right? So a typical placebo effect is somewhere between 15 and 72. So he's referencing an extremely high outlier in terms of the placebo effect, right? Right. And I'm not exactly sure why we're mentioning the placebo effect so that you can sell a natural version of the exact same thing. So are you, are you saying that C60's positive results are caused by the placebo effect? And instead of buying C60, you should buy my natural C60 because it's a cheaper version of the placebo effect? Like, I don't, I don't know that that's, that's I don't know wh where that fits in. Like either you believe the C60 is a value and you might believe your natural is, but you can't discredit C60 as the placebo effect and then turn around and try and sell C60. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, he calls the natural version charcoal. He uses the phrase nano C60. Nano is like C60 is nano, even and it's true, you can actually, if you collect the soot of a candle flame and pot ash probably has parts per million, parts per billion C60 in it. So it's naturally occurring, but even when it's naturally occurring, it's nano. Remember, it's 60 carbon atoms in a sphere. Like it doesn't matter how you make it, it's the same thing, it's actually nano. Uh, and he called old fashioned charcoal is C60. That I'm sorry, is just abjectly False. That was that uh, was actually the point where I had to jump completely off the bus. Yeah, that, yeah. That, and that was the part that I really wanted you to address because we're yeah. now talking molecular structural differences, like fundamental. So again, we would take that that charcoal, that pot ash, whatever you want. Hopefully, it contains C sixty. Usually charcoal doesn't detain, uh, uh, contain detectable uh, amounts, but you would take that and you would dissolve it in a solvent. Then you would filter out 
run it through a filter and all the carbon junk that is not C60 would stay on top of the filter and all the carbon 60 would go through in solution uh, for that sol with that solvent. Um, and what you would find with a pot ash or even the soot from a candle is you wouldn't even see any coloration in your uh, your solvent. You would just be able to detect it in a highly sensitive piece of equipment. But what so, you just described there is a manufacturing process. Yeah, that's it's a manufacturing. an organic compound, but still putting it through a process to make it a product. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 and it sounds like if, if they're going with just charcoal, they're, they're stopping at that, at that point. In fact, I took an activated charcoal uh, that was on Amazon. I did a video a while back. Uh, and basically on the label, it says potentialized C60, which I don't know exactly what it means, but I think what it really means is potentially has C60 in it but not because um, because I I took it, I put it in our standard solvent, I filtered it. There was no coloration, no detectable amounts of C60. That falls into the category of semantic deceit, in my opinion, but OK. Yes. Yeah. And, and again, Amazon. let's give uh, the, 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 you know, the um, the benefit of the doubt. Yes. Uh, he talks about pot ash and taking pot ash and putting it in your food the next day. What are the results, right? I don't, I'm not sure that you would sit a room full of people together who have actually consumed pot ash on a regular basis and you would ask them, how many people have tried pot ash? And they would all say yes, right? How many people have noticed the benefit of pot ash? I'm not sure that you would get a, you know, a majority of the room in the case of pot ash or even just charcoal. Um, and then he talked about actually that pot ash going into the gardens. Uh, what's interesting about C60 is that it's not water soluble, right? So to just put it somewhere, uh, if you put it on a garden or whatever, it's not like it's not going to actually seep into the soil. It's just going to stay there and move around physically with the water. Um, and I think that was it. I mean, it wasn't all bad. No, it wasn't all bad. And <laughs> and the reason why it caught my attention was because it came up. Into if the, and the viewers will note this because we gave you the actual video with the graphic insert from each of the two shows with yeah. the show numbers, and we did that for attribution. Yep. Um, we're, we're obviously using this uh, out of out of you know public public use because it is on YouTube, and so what I did was I didn't. I didn't edit out content. I basically took what there was long dialogues between these and we just took the most important aspects of the two commentaries and put them put them together because the second part of that video largely was breaking down this this com commentary about the charcoal. Yeah. When I heard this, the first time it went by me and I went, look, here's the thing. We're in a marketplace. C60 has been around for, uh, to my knowledge, since 2013 yep. as some form of commercial product in this marketplace yes. as being offered as a completement, a supplement, a nutritional. So uh, clearly in that time, as we're all aware, because we've all rubbed elbows in this marketplace, there have been, we'll just say people that were less than credible and product that was frankly didn't stand up to testing as you yeah. yourself have talked about chris yeah so yes there are some there's some examples out there of fluff in the claims and promotions of of c60 but the other side of this was the when we get to the place where we're comparing two things which are not the same thing i think we need i think we need to have that discussion we need clarity Fu and fun fundamentally you know there's great things about charcoal. I mean, charcoal is really useful. Activated charcoal in a medical situation where you've been poisoned, for instance, Phenomenal. actually very useful. Phenomenal. And and we don't want to take away from the holistic aspects of these things. On the other hand, as I pointed out, we are dealing at the end of the day with manufactured products. Uh, C60 is manufactured, but the C60 molecular structure, the actual 60 carbons yep. in, in the buckyball. Yep. It's an element, right? I mean, well, it's a molecule, it's but a it's molecule. Only, right? It's but it's made of and it's only made from one element, carbon, right. Right? right? Yeah. Yeah. The base point is it's carbon. And a lot of this goes into really sophisticated chemistry 
I don't understand, which is why I ask you to comment on it. So, so you, good inspired, stuff. you inspired me to look at C60 videos this morning. So I went on to YouTube and there's a guy named Kay Elmer that likes to do videos about C60. And um, today I listened to his video and I was glad to see him include SES research and Chris in a complimentary way. And he had a lot of good information, but the thing that came up was he said that he was so excited somebody did a test of four different brands and that they found that the results for, were very low of how much C60 was in the product. And then luckily later in the show, he said, I think Chris Burris may have done something. So I just threw down a comment and I said, yes, the SES research labs, Chris and Rob didn't tell me, they just bought 22, not just four, 22 different online C60 products. So basically they got one of everything on the market from all the other companies. And then they tested them in their HPLC machine, which I think is why some people think they've got this purple color. And so they, you know, they've got it all going, but they don't realize that it's got less than half the C60 that the olive oil would have if they don't have the machine to measure it. Mm -hmm. So when they went through 22 products, uh, did I'm, I'm going to let you say, did any of them come up to hours at uh, C60 Evo? Like the, the olive oil, ours definitely, because we test every batch, has 0.8 milligrams to 0 .8, 8 0 0.86 milligrams per milliliters of C60. We don't let a bottle go out with 0 0.08. And the lab found that some of the bottles had 10% to 30% of the C60 that their labels uh, claimed. Is that true, Chris? Yeah, no, that's 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 exactly what we found. I, I mean, it's really important to understand like the pedigree of the com of the company, right? I, I, I like to yes. talk about the pedigree of the company as it relates to Amazon, right? We can go onto Amazon and we can buy supplements. And we can base our decision on, hey, what product has a really good uh, reviews, like five-star reviews on Amazon? That must mean it's a good supplement. But I, I, I have to ask, like, if somebody gives a five-star review on vitamin C, what does that mean, right? What, the one thing we know it doesn't mean is that they went and threw it into a sophisticated scientific piece of equipment and determined that that one gram tablet actually had one gram of vitamin C. That's the one thing we know. All we really know is they're probably just going, oh, uh, you know, it had 90 tabs and it was delivered quickly, right? So you gotta be really careful if you're gonna use Amazon reviews to determine if it's a product you're gonna, you're gonna buy. And that was kind of, again, born out of this, hey, let's let's look at the supplement industry. We we actually were very hesitant to get into the supplement industry. You, but let me back this up just yeah. a minute, because at the time you did this, you weren't actually in the commercial front end of this business, correct? Uh, when we did uh, the when testing of the existing products. Okay, it, were you? We were, yeah, okay, we were, okay. and it was, right. and it was really right at the point where we were so frustrated, and we we're saying like, we've got to find some way to get keep consumers safe. We've got to come up with this ESS sixty to keep those consumers safe, um, and really the results of those twenty two purchases and tests um, just confirmed what what we thought about the supplement industry, frankly, in general, and then yeah, the C sixty yeah. industry specifically. But it needs to be said that before going into the commercial front end marketing of the product. You were a you're the major supplier of carbon sixty in North America. On the planet. On the planet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you look at the original result where those rats live ninety percent longer, um, our parent company is mentioned in that study. It's actually referenced in the study. It was our material that that particular study proves that our material, the same C60 Evo formulation, extended the lives of those rats by 90%. Okay, that was important just to establish the baseline. And, I, and I think, yeah, the, the, another piece, sorry to interrupt Randy, but another piece is our whole pedigree, like since from 1991, when my business partner and I started the company, really until 2018, 
we only sold to scientific institutions, right? When you sell carbon 60 to a scientific institution, the first thing they do is like the professor who ordered it and paid for it from a grant mm -hmm. gives it to his grad mm -hmm. student, or if you're at a, you know, a professional lab, an associate, and they take it back to their HPLC and they run it through it. They have the technology, the expertise, the skills to make that happen. And they make sure that we sold them what we thought which we what we told them we were going to sell them so these people who started kind of jumping into the market in 2013 they don't have an hplc they just kind of followed the guidelines and prayed like literally prayed that's why most of the mct labeling says that it has point in the early days said it had 0.8 milligrams per milliliter i mean if you're just buying from a company go check their history and what was their rating on their mct oil because you can only get 0.3 to 0.35 uh, milligrams per milliliter into MCT oil. And so if their initial labeling said 0.8 because they were just copying off of the olive oil, they, don't, they didn't know what they were doing scientifically and they don't have the equipment to test it. We just, you know, our pedigree is sell it to somebody who can look over our shoulder and make sure we're doing the right thing. Mm. And then now we're getting into a space where we don't have that person looking over our shoulder, but it's, it's, we've, we do what we've always done, which is the right thing. Yeah. The other well, one, I want to say, go um, ahead, Patty. This is the easiest thing I've ever sold because I'm working with the original guys that invented the reactor that has been making carbon 60 and ESS 60 for almost 30 years. Um, part of my um, explorations today also took me to the C60 reviews online. Um, I'm sorry, but only because we did test 22 products, I'm looking at their top choices and they had like really low concentrations. So as Chris was saying, what they, they ship quickly or that the bottle has a pretty label or, you know, like, uh, I don't know. The yeah. Amazon rating may be good, but what does that what does that actually mean? Well, the thing about Amazon ratings, and we've noticed this with many products, companies will send out free samples of a product in exchange for reviews. Um, generally, reviewers should be required to disclose that. However, as we know, in the Amazon marketplace, because we, I've seen it personally, I've seen it with things that I've even purchased that it is not disclosed. This review was received in exchange for product, merchandise, or services. Yeah. So again, you know, it's not a clean pool of testimony out there. You can take it and you can look at the aggregate rating on a product and scale that against all the other products in the same category on Amazon. And you then have something where you can thread your way through multiple products, but it's not a competitive form of evaluation by any means, and it's certainly not scientific. Well, and Randy, what I would suggest is that process, because that's what I use, is really good when I want to buy a mouse, right? It's really exactly. good. Yeah, a piece I of want to buy a laser pointer. Yeah. It doesn't actually apply in any way when you're talking about supplementation. Right, right. And this is a this touchy area. Um, you know, the other, th other side of it is, again, you know, I, I'm moved by the concept of sitting around the campfire and collecting the charcoal. And there's all kinds of things we can do with this. I mean, there's even uh, shambolic, sacred aspects to rites with ashes that I totally honor and respect. Yeah. But when we get down to talking about what we call a manufactured product, almost anything that you're going to purchase, even if it's charcoal dust, has ha hopefully gone through some refinement, something that guarantees you you're receiving a viable commercial product and that that product is relatively safe, clean, and relatively easy to use. And yeah. so everything in the marketplace can be said to be a manufactured product. Carbon 60 in its raw form was discovered. And I think that's an important thing to point out. It yep. exists in a natural state. What your work has done what the SES people have done from the development at Rice, Rice University is basically brought it forward as something that could be taken out of the realm of almost theoretical and brought into the real world. Yep.
Yeah, the, yeah, there was some lag from the original discovery in 85 till commercial quantities. Really, we were yeah. the second company, actually the first company that still exists, the second company to ever deliver commercial quantities of carbon nanomaterials. Again, uh, buckyballs being the most abundant. Um, and, and there was that lag time between actual discovery and a, an incredibly impressive piece of equipment, uh, scientific equipment, yeah. to then, hey, how do we make this on a, on a regular basis? Yeah, so we want to thank uh, Crow Triple Seven uh, for giving us the opportunity to have this conversation. Crow, I love your work. I will never look at the moon the same way again. You know what I mean by that, brother. And uh, maybe come back on and talk to us again sometime. So uh, do we have anything else that we, we want to go through in this, in this expedition? I want to mention the amazing uh, procedure that I had two weeks ago. I was kind of leading up to it and then we got carried away elsewhere. But I thought that I was headed for hip surgery because I've been really limping for months. And a month ago, I got so bad, I could, I could hardly walk. And I take a lot of ESS-60 so I can function, but um, I went for an MRI and I needed to get the job done. So I was very lucky to discover this incredible therapy We've all, maybe most people have heard of stem cell therapy. The inventors, the creators of it, the medical team are called uh, Centeno Schultz. And they're right here in Broomfield, Colorado, not far from me. But additionally, they also invented Regenix, which is what I just had. And because I did C60 Evo before and after, my healing has been pretty, um, pretty, unbelievable. But I just want to say to your audience, while it's almost Christmas uh, holiday gifting time, not only get on the C60 Evo, but also if you're headed for surgery of any kind, look on this website because people aren't talking about it yet. You've heard about stem cells. This is a lot less invasive. I gave a lot of blood. They spun it down and the next day they loaded it into the places I need it. And I'm actually growing new tissue. And when I said to the doctor, can I get right back on my C60 Evo olive oil, you know, because you can't do any anti-inflammatories, he said, yes, actually it will probably, it will, he didn't say probably, it will boost the healing. So um, it's called R-E-G-E-N-E-X-X, Regenex.com. I highly recommend anybody that's in agony check it out because you don't need to have surgery. It's kind of like advanced medicine here now, kind of like ESS-60 is an advanced molecule that's here now. Yeah, the and all you is... need is to hear about it, you know? So thank you, Randy, for uh, inviting us on your show and keeping your audience attuned and also seeing you. I mean, you just don't age. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's kind of the inner game, isn't it? I mean, uh, really... We're in an interesting place. Despite all the darkness in the world right now, it's an exciting time to be alive. And we are seeing the future of science and medicine transform before our eyes, despite what those who would contain and control the technology have put forward. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to uh, an illustrious 2021 Whatever comes our way, we will deal with it. We're strengthened. We're encouraged. One more time, the serum, the face serum. Can you can you show us that? Yeah. Um, this is something you might even want to consider gifting for the holidays. Oh, it's great. And uh, you know, take somebody... take advantage of the inside and out package. There you go. Inside and out completement. 360. 360 completement. There you go. You got the label right. Right. There we you go. Have a whole gifting page. Uh, that is your landing page. And what we did was we put products together. So you've got a mini sampler of three different uh, flavors, oh, yeah. or you've got the bigger sampler set of three different flavors, but we discounted them 15% approximately. Nice. Well, gift sets together. And then if you use Randy's code, um, which he will give you, and it'll be in the link below the show, you get an additional, which we've never done, 15% off for the holidays. Wow. Um, and normally our influencers get 5% for the audience. So this is 15% off. Best deal you'll find. Doesn't include cases of 12 because 
those, you get 25% off. Yep. And if you want it just for yourself, great Christmas gift, sign up for a subscription and you'll get 20% off every month. You can cancel it anytime if you don't love it, but we doubt you will. Details in the little box down below. And um, for all of us here, um, we wish you the best of what's left of 2020 yes. and um, something spectacular going into 2021. Chris, Patty, thanks for coming on. It's always awesome to talk when we get together. We have fun. Yeah, thank Randy, you. thank you so much. It's been awesome. All right, that's it, guys. The truth is inside you, uh, inside and out, ES ESS60. Um, check the links. See you on the other side. This is Off Planet Radio.